Salut, I'm on holiday in Sologne. Uh, it's a beautiful area in France near the castle of La Loire. There are lots of beautiful forests, very, very, very old castles and buildings and it's a really nice area and some chickens wanted to be in the lesson today so I let them in. Uh, students have been asking me about how to uh, practice their French there this summer because uh, you might know that I did a program called the 30 day French challenge where more than 1000 students attended and they loved it and they wanted, wanted to keep up with actually practicing their French every day by uh, having something authentic to read um, or just watch or listen to. And uh, the news are really a, a good thing if you want to have an angle on the news that is different from the one in your country and just keep up with French news. So obviously you could watch TV Cinq Monde, which is very, very famous, but this is not something I watch personally and I wanted to share things that I really like in my everyday life. So the first one that I have, I have my pile of newspaper because I'm a very old fashioned person. I subscribe to newspapers. Um, it is Le Monde, so that's really um, the most obvious one. But I don't buy Le Monde on a daily basis. I'm not a subscriber of the big like daily newspaper. I'm a subscriber of the weekend edition. So it's like that. And uh, every week you have two newspapers. So one is the normal edition for Sunday and Monday. And the second one is the weekend edition. And what I like in those is that you have lots of culture and uh, what happened during the week. Uh, and you have lots of news about the French, so that's really useful. And also having a point of view on foreign events by a country that is not yours is usually very interesting. And that's why um, I'm also a subscriber of The Guardian, the weekly edition as well, because this gives me a British point of view on news. So that's a good compliment. And I love it because this also helps me when I teach because I can bring you culture that is not something that, that I just see on Instagram, on social media or TV, which I'm a bit tired of in terms of um, uh, understanding news. So now when I want to understand something about the news, I'd rather go to a newspaper because they go deeper into a topic. Uh, the second one that I absolutely love is Le 1. This is not very, very known abroad. Uh, so it is Le 1, it means the one. And what's interesting is that it's, you have one every week. It covers one topic and it's one big page. I'm going to show you. So you have this page. So it's written Le 1 here and they cover one topic. So this one is about reinventing holidays. And what I like is that they go deep into this topic. So you have poetry, you have literature, you have uh, philo uh, philosophy, you have news uh, and lots of people with different angles and point of views who are actually are experts in the field help you understand the topic. So it's huge. I'm not even sure you can see it. Yeah, so it is one massive page. <laughs> and this is what makes Le Un so interesting because you can read it in one hour. So, you, well, if you're a French speaking person, so it's really, really, really good. And this is something I'm going to subscribe in September because if I subscribe now, it's going to arrive at home. Um, the third thing I wanted to tell you about is the news, uh, the news by Arte, which we watch almost every day. Uh, it is 15 minutes. It is on Arte, the Franco-German channel that, is, that has a European and cultural point of view on the news of the world. So it gives you lots of things that you never heard about in countries you never heard about. Um, you learn about culture that you never thought about. And that is so interesting. And I love their depth and their insights on deep topics that I never have heard about without them. And they think that you are a clever person. So this is, I think it's accessible everywhere. And I assume they have subtitles because they are very, very uh, into accessibility as well. So uh, you're going to find all the links that are mentioned here in the blog post um, below the video. Uh, the fourth and fifth one I wanted to tell you about are uh, radio stations, because I know that my students love to listen to that. The first one is something that uh, I like for the news, which are very, very local news, and it is France Bleu. And on France Bleu, you can listen to very local news, and it's very useful for you if you love France, especially an area of France. So, for example, if uh, you have a house in Alsace, you can listen to France Bleu Alsace, 
or France Bleu Bretagne, France Bleu Normandie, and they have very, very local news. And I love that because you are aware of the markets that are opening this week. Uh, you are aware of the holidays that are, or the parks that are doing things. And I love it because for me in my area, it gives me ideas of things to do on the weekends with my son. And also when we are in an area, we listen to it so we can know what's happening around us and what matters to people here. And this is what I love with France Bleu. And that's why they are very popular because they give you very local news. And the last one is something that is not about the news, but we listen at home in my son's uh, bedroom because he has a little radio and it's France Music. And uh, you have no ads, which was something important for me in my son's bedroom. And there are lots of classic music and you have lots of news about the world of classical music, which I don't know much about, but I love discovering with them. So that's it for today. Uh, also, if you love um, some source of media, a newspaper, a radio station, a program on radio or TV, a podcast, just share them in the comments so you can share the ideas with other students because this is the best uh, source for students to find new ideas. And even for me, because I love hearing from you and knowing what you love to listen to in French. So I'm going to go back in the house because my son is going to wake up from his morning nap and I wish you a very lovely uh, day and I wish you all the best from so long. We're having a lovely time and I hope you can visit this area of France soon because it's absolutely amazing. Allez, salut!